hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so in our last lecture of git series we discussed about branching strategy we discussed about what is the need of branching strategy and then we discussed about how to merge your changes using the merge request into the protected branches in case you are not already aware on these topics i'll request you to please go back to my previous video which i'll be sharing in the i icon you can refer it from there so today we are going to discuss about another important topic while working with git that is merge conflict so when we uh, work in a team fashion uh, usually when people work in a team so they are like multi member uh, team uh, so they will work towards one git repository and chances of getting merge conflicts are high so we usually get these merge conflicts and we need to resolve these merge conflicts in order to push our changes to the remote repository so today this is what we are going to cover today okay so let us understand it from the diagram first so in the last lecture we discussed about we have master branch which is the topmost or most reliable or most stable branch and uh, we are intentionally making it uh, protected so that we cannot directly push our changes to master then we have develop which is again protected and it is exact replica of master so when uh, the sprint starts how the team members work so let us say we have two member team we have user 1 user 2 so user 1 has a different story and user 2 has a different story to story to work on so let us say user 1 wants to automate login feature and user 2 let us say want to automate dashboard feature right so for that purpose what they will be doing they'll be creating one feature branch they'll be creating a branch out of develop and the convention that we follow for cutting out a branch from develop is feature slash the um, feature name let us say feature slash login similarly user 2 will be creating feature slash dashboard right once user 1 is done with his changes right so what he will be doing he will then uh, he will he will then uh, like to merge his changes to to develop but he won't be able to do so why because develop is a protected branch so in order to get his changes into develop what he has to do he will have to raise pull request or merge request so these two terms merge request and pull request these are interchangeably used in the market so don't get confused so merge request or pull request both are same right so he will raise the merge request so once he will raise the merge request one code reviewer will be assigned code reviewer will look into the code of user 1 in the branch right in the merge request i mean so once he looks into the uh, merge request and if he found no issues what he will do he will approve the merge request and he will merge the changes into develop now for example user 2 also done with his changes so what he is going to do uh, he he also wants his changes to go to develop so now if he will try to push his changes to develop he will get some error like Uh, first of all he won't be able to do it directly as this is protected so he will be raising one merge request so when he will raise merge request then at that time he will get one error because develop has some latest changes which has i mean the feature one changes while feature 2 does not or user 2 does not have those changes so in order for user 2 to raise the merge request or to get his changes merged into develop he will have to take the latest code from the develop first only then he will be able to raise the merge request so when he will pull the code that time he will he may get the merge conflicts why uh, because for example user 1 was also working on login dot class similarly user 2 was also working on the login dot class and they have made the same uh, they have made the changes on the same line of code so in that case when he will pull git will say that you both have made the changes on this place so it is a conflict so you resolve it so that you can proceed so based on discussion or based on collaboration we will fix it and then we'll push the changes so this is from the diagrammatic uh, diagram perspective let us understand it from the code side right from practical demonstration i mean so i have uh, we have the project already in place so i am going to open terminal which is integrated cmd <coughs> now if i click here we will see two branches these are local branches and these are remote branches so in remote on remote we have master and develop and 
we have exact replica of remote as well right now as per the diagram what we need so right now we are on which branch so let us check that so to check that there is a command git branch now what i want is i want to create one branch as per the diagram git checkout hyphen b feature slash user one right i'm keeping it simple because i want to uh, name it like user one and user two so i created one branch out of develop so as soon as i will click here it will be refreshed and we will start seeing this particular branch so let me do it right now i want to go back to develop why because i need another branch as well so i'm switched to another branch so the next command is i want to create another branch which is feature slash user 2 right so this way we have now two branches meaning four branches one is develop and master these are protected then we have user 1 branch and user 2 branch so in real time what will happen so suppose we have two users user 1 is this machine and user 2 would be a different machine and they would be dif working in two different uh, branches so for example user 1 would have created uh, feature slash user 1 out of develop similarly user 2 would have created feature slash user 2 from develop so i'm going to switch to user 1 first right so i'm switched to user 1 so what i'm going to do i'm going to make one change user 1 changes right so the next step is to track the changes so when i will track the changes so we will get the changes so the next step is git add dot to add the changes into staging then git commit hyphen m wherein i'll provide changes of user 1 message this is the message now the next step is to push it to the remote repository so we will get error because this particular branch does not exist on remote so what we are going to do we are going to use this particular command so when we will uh, use this particular command now our changes are pushed and this particular branch local branch got created on the remote as well so let me go to the code side so you see uh, uh, now we have started seeing to uh, third branch and you see that it has reset push less than a minute ago so one way to create the pull request now the next step is to push to merge these changes into develop right so for that purpose we will be using the merge request so if you remember we mentioned this user is done with his changes so he he has pushed his changes to this particular branch now he'll be raising the merge request from the remote branch to remote develop right now when I'll uh, go here compare and develop so you need to um, uh, do it cautiously because this is by default selected uh, uh, source branch which is our branch and this is, target is master but we need to change it to develop so let me change it to develop because we want our changes to be merged into develop right so now the next step is I'll raise the create pull request and this will be assigned to one code reviewer in real time but as I am the only user in this particular repository so I don't have that option so what the code reviewer will do uh, once it is assigned to code reviewer code reviewer will look into these changed files he will look for these changes so plus means the changes which are added and minus means the changes which are removed right now the next step is he will take a look if he is satisfied what he will do he will click on merge pull request wherein he will click on confirm merge request so once he do click on this merge request the changes will be merged into develop so let me go into the develop part develop branch I mean right so when I go to develop branch here I'll see changes of user 1 which is recently done so let me go inside this src test then Java so you can uh, pick this message and you can check so this is this is the commit message that we provided so I'm just uh, tracking it by that so this change is also here so I'm going inside it and you see that sample change login feature user one changes right now the next step is um, I am going to switch to a different user different branch I mean so first of all I'll type in git branch and uh, I want to switch to different branch now right and this uh, uh, branch feature slash user 2 it is the reference of previous develop which does not have the remote copy meaning current develop does not have the remote changes uh, right correct uh, so far I believe you are able to follow me so the next step is uh, if I as soon as I'll click on this this particular section will be removed so you see I clicked and this got removed now what I'm going to add uh, user two changes right 
and I'll follow the same steps git status to track the changes git add dot git commit hyphen m user two changes right now the next step is git push which will give us some error because we don't have remote branch so I'll be simply using this particular command and push these changes so I'll have my changes pushed into remote repository so I'll uh, go here and uh, come here in this section I'll see that feature slash user 2 had been pushed right so you see that we have now this branch so I'm, what I'm going to do I need to create a pull request so I will go here I'll select the source as this well and this has developed so when I'll see uh, it is saying can't merge automatically but we can still so this happens because this feature slash user 2 is not up to date with develop develop has changes of user 1 while feature slash user 2 does not have changes of user 1 right because develop uh, got merged recently while we didn't take the latest code so what I'm going to do I'm going to click on create pull request so at this time we will get some error why we will get some error it's saying it is saying this branch has conflict that must be resolved because user 1 and user 2 both worked on the same line of code right correct we they both worked on this line of code so this is why we cannot merge the changes so this is what is merge conflict so this is visible at the remote but how to resolve it so the next step is as this particular branch was cut out of uh, develop so to pull the changes of remote develop we need to use this particular command git pull git pull is to pull the changes of this particular branch from remote when we type in git pull origin develop meaning origin means remote and develop means the branch so remote branch develop we want to push the changes pull the changes so you see it is trying to auto merge so git git is intelligent and it tries to um, like auto merge if uh, there are no changes on the same line if there are changes on the same line this is where it will give us merge conflicts right so you see that it is giving merge conflict on this particular file and automatic merge failed fix conflict and then commit the results right so you see this error so one way is uh, we can go here and we can directly click on this second way is right click on this we have git option and you get a resolve conflicts right when you get resolve conflicts you just double click on this so we will get multiple files in real time so which particular changes you want to keep you want to use so you see this is the result right and this is develop changes and this is user 2 changes right so which one you want to pick so you want to keep user 2 changes or user 1 so let us go with user 2 so how we will do it user 1 will be talking to user 2 and then they will reach on some conclusion which changes should go and which are like latest and which are obsolete right so let us say user t 2 changes are latest or user 1 changes are latest so let me click on this by this changes came into the result section similarly we need to click on this cross icon because we want one user changes so if i click on this i'll simply click on apply uh, right so when i'll click on apply so changes are must right uh, changes are resolved i mean so if i'll simply go here and uh, i'll see that uh, i have no option to resolve the conflicts it says about merge however i can about the merge so the next step is git status the changes are there git add dot git commit hyphen m resolved conflicts right so git push so as soon as i push commit i'll get some notification here so we see the changes are pushed you see it has automatically started uh, looking at the changes so it got synced you see that there is there are no conflict and we can go ahead and merge the request uh, right so if i for example go to develop now so develop should have user one changes right so this is done just now you see uh, step dev and changes of user one right so you see user one changes because we pushed only user one changes we didn't push the user two changes 
correct so this is uh, what are the merge conflicts and this is what is the merge uh, conflict resolution and uh, uh, this particular video will really help you resolving your conflict and uh, this type of conflict we usually get in the real time so in the next video we will be discussing about the best practices of git like when, when to use git pull when to use git fetch these kind of commands that we will be discussing in the next lecture thank you for watching this is what i wanted to cover as part of this video thank you once again